Election integrity is something that we see incredibly, is incredibly important um, and we've leaned into in every way we possibly can. Um, and I would say that we, um, you know, first of all, we treat all public figures and all public leaders the same as we treat any individual. And so, meaning that everybody is held to the same standards. Um, and so we definitely um, ha held President Trump as we would hold all other presidents and all other elected officials um, to the same standards that we hold our creators and anyone else on YouTube. But was that difficult for you as the CEO of the company? I mean, that's kind of, that's like a big responsibility. I mean, yeah, it, it is difficult, but I, it is very important. And we also are global. So we're dealing with leaders from all over the world. Um, and there were a number of leaders that are, and there continue to be a number of leaders um, that we, um, that, you know, that post or that there's content that may be a violation of our policies. Um, but we do hold a consistent standard across everything that we do. YouTube was the last platform to ban Trump and you have said his channel will be reinstated when an elevated risk of violence has subsided. How and when specifically will you make that decision? Well, we'll make that decision based on um, a number of different factors, whether that is like events in the news, um, signals we're seeing from the from the government, um, and you know, we'll certainly continue to evaluate that based on a large number of signals that we see. And will he ultimately be reinstated? I mean, we've stated that we will reinstate him when we believe that there is no risk to public safety or no public danger. You know, there's concerns that I think, especially as we, we get closer to 24, that President Trump is wrapping, ramping back up again. Does that concern you? I mean, how are you preparing for that, a potential new wave of Trump stuff? <laughs> Well, I, I think, um, I mean, we're focused on responsibility across the board. And w that has had a number of different steps that we've taken in place in terms of like how we look at our policies, our removals, how we raise up content, how we handle borderline content, how we have monetization. And so our, our goal would be that our standards that we put in place would apply to um, you know, all countries, like all politicians, and everyone will be held to the same standards.